just going to let it grow as it is. Uh, so yeah, this is a giant mother Amazon sword, and it is already coming out at the top of the, uh, the tank. And I actually uh, asked them to get me the smallest plant that they had. And apparently this is one of the smallest that still had runners. They had at uh, aquaticplants.com. They've got a pretty good selection, selection of plants. So, uh, yeah. Small. If you order a large one, now you know how big this is exactly going to be. I uh, hope this helps because uh, I was pretty clueless as to how big this plant was going to be and how big the tank was going to have to be. How I didn't understand. I wasn't quite sure. Uh, just had to ask for guessing. That's why I asked for the smallest one. I'm gonna have to roll up the sleeves here. But uh, hope this helps you. This is a 18 inch tall 29 gallon tank. This is a special ordered small uh, mother mother giant mother plant. Amazon sword. Uh, either. Condors Amazonicus or Condors uh, Belkiri. Uh, they're both the most common swords. The, the true Amazon sword is Amazon Amazonicus, obviously, because Amazonicus Amazon. But uh, it's been a bit of fraud in the fish world, as you may have seen. So uh, <laughs> this is humongous. This is definitely my centerpiece. Hair graphs are gonna have to go over here. Just because this sword is so humongous, I could actually just like, yeah, put maybe a few fit, like a lot of fish in here, and this sword practically be enough filtration, natural filtration for this tank. I mean, I'm not going to do that because I'm not absolutely, positively, 100% sure that it is, but uh, it could. It's got some pretty big runners on this thing. You can see them. Uh, I actually got this where this camera is pretty far away, but the camera's got a little bit of zoom, so just getting all these leaves shuffled up so it's not crunched up and blocking all the leaves light, killing the plant. But actually, if you look at this right now, uh, just stare at this plant for a little bit, I'm going to tell you something. This is how most aquatic plants that you find, like especially Amazon swords, are grown before they get to the fish store. I'm pretty sure I've said this already, but most common or common aquatic, aquatic plants that you're using in the aquarium are grown immersed like this. Like I've still got I've got a little bit of water in this gravel, but this all the leaves are above water, and that's just uh, really plus because they grow faster. And as you can see, get really big. But this is grown at, uh, underwater actually. Thank gosh. Uh, thank gosh. Uh, because. Now it doesn't have that much shock and the leaf won't die off as quickly. And this sword's just, I'll say it again, this sword's humongous, just even for this tank. Uh, when I bought this tank, this was the biggest tank I knew of. I was gonna get before I did that. Uh, get my own tank, stuff like that. But, uh, sword's huge. This is definitely a centerpiece, I'm not gonna put any more plants, except for maybe a few helping plants. Actually, got these swords seem to be popped off. I'm not quite sure how to get them off, so I'm going to leave them there for a little bit. Uh, this is just ridiculous how much, how big this thing is. I'm The only other plant that I ordered was hair grass, and I'm really happy that that was the only other plant that I had ordered because now, as I see, uh, this sword was big, definitely big enough to be a centerpiece. I'm actually not quite sure how this hair grass got to be so flat, so I'm just going to let it uh, sit there. Uh, so, yep, this is awesome. I've still got a little bit of gravel to add. I'm going to move that sword up a little bit more, just a tad bit, because I'm not going to have much space in the back. So now it's 
literally the centerpiece because it's at uh, the actual center of this tank. So now it's got some more room in the back. Spread out the leaves a little bit more. Get it all tangled up and get it, make sure all the leaves get enough light. Uh, yeah, I'm going to add some more gravel to this tank and uh, come back in a little bit.